What's up, YouTube? Fuel up 727. Finally back in action. Been busy. A lot of stuff going on. Sick. Coronavirus. You guys know the deal. So, finally have some time to start some projects. So, I want to show you guys what we're going to do. So, right now, you may know I have a 1990 Camaro building for racing and that's it right there no big deal heavy cammed 350 small block Chevy TH 350 transmission got the cowl hood on it it's about three four inches I believe but we're working on putting headers on it so I have these short tube headers that I bought off eBay they're eBay specials um, the car has long tubes on it right now but I can't fabricate an exhaust for that because they're just so low and too close to the frame the car had a, a 355 when I bought it and it had short tubes on it. I lost them or got rid of them. Can't remember. So I bought new ones. And we're going to be taking those long tubes off. Because they're nice to have. But it's just really impractical on these third gen Camaros and Firebirds. So we're swapping back to short tubes. And we're going to be using these stock pipes. Well, stock. But pipes that I got from the old setup. So we got to re-weld this here and the flanges match from the old pipes to new headers. So we're gonna weld those up, take old ones off, put new ones on, and then I'll let you guys hear it fire up. All right, so I'm out of breath because I have a what kind of jack is this three and a half ton jack that isn't so good or reliable so what I had to do I only got one side off I undid all the bolts there's two four six and then I have this water temp sensor and I had to cut this out because obviously I put it in the only way you can and that's through it so I cut this out I was able to jack the car up and I had to hurry up wiggle this out from under the car with not so good old reliable so that's why I'm out of breath. But we got one off. Now let me show you what I'm dealing with on this side. So I have everything apart. I only have two bolts holding the header in. But my problem on this side, I'm gonna have to undo that, get a engine hoist, hook it up to here, and pull the engine up to get these out coming up because that's the only way I got them in here. I had to hoist the engine up and then slide them in through the top. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that this time. We'll see. So I'm gonna try to work on this and then I'll get back with you guys. All right, so as you can tell, it's been a couple of days since the first part of this video. So the first part of this video, I left off with taking off the old ones, the old headers. So uh, I think I do have the old headers near me. So long tube headers obviously are a pain in the ass. Well, 
long tube headers are obviously a pain when it comes to installing and uninstalling the headers. So this particular set I bought from someone off Facebook Marketplace and I assume they got an off-brand cheap version of long tubes for these third gen Camaros. And even at that, some of these are all they're all different and they all fit differently but these just don't fit where i made them fit it was really bad but um so i got the driver's side out pretty easily jacked the car up snuck it out through the bottom passenger side was the pain in the butt so i'm going to show you what i did to get it out so yeah notice it's missing the bottom half that goes under the car so i tried cutting it with a cutting disc and i gave up obviously but pretty much i unbolted it and, well i left one bolt on each side then i took a sawzall the Cutter Zipperoni 5000 and chopped each tube up individually. This one was the worst because it was in between transmission and subframe, but I managed. So, got all these cut and then I just lifted it through the top and then I have all the carnage by the Camaro still. So, yeah, see. Pretty much had to smash these two in. And it was just angled directly facing the subframe. So that's why it couldn't come out through the bottom. And it wasn't easy to wiggle out through the top. Now I know. I know that you have to most of the time undo the engine mount bolts. Raise the engine to snake out the left side. At least that was my case for these headers when installing it and adjusting them to fit. The left side I had to lift the engine up. May not be the case for all you guys, but that was what it, that's what it was for me. So to remedy the solution of having to do that, because obviously I'm on grass, I just sawzawed the bottom half and yanked up from the top. Now, the new headers are shorty headers. Now, they fit nice. I have no idea if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can get my phone out. But yeah, they fit nice. Alright, yeah, there you go. So, they fit nice. And down here, I have loads of room. You can't tell, I don't think. But driver's side, fit pretty easily too. No issues. I had it running, warming, warming up, burn all the oil off. So, that was pretty fun. But then I ran into a new issue. Like all third gen Camaros, you let them sit, something happens. It just started idling high and I've been trying to figure it out. Checked for leaks, no leaks, that's the thing. No vacuum leaks, so I have no idea. But yeah, but I mean, it still runs. Um, the reason for switching back to short tubes one, the passenger side header aimed right towards the subframe, so that's a dumb reason there. Two, even if it was facing the right way, trying to fit a 3-inch exhaust, because I personally want 3-inch. This car is a race car. I want all the flow. I don't care about back pressure back pressure you know yeah you need it create torque really it's the flow that I'm looking for 
I want all that exhaust out because it is a huge cam in there. I want it out right away. And it wasn't going to work with the long tubes. And they're just so, so annoying. That's why you don't buy long tubes. So the short tubes, I have pipes already with flanges on it that I'm going to put 3 inch on that comes out onto the car. It's right here in front of the tires but yeah that's that's the reasoning for me switching from long tubes to short tubes everybody's different everybody can deal with it or whatnot with the issues long tubes may have down the road short tubes are easier to get in get out bolt up bolt anything to it so that's my reasoning for why long tubes suck on third gen Camaros. Now, it's been a while, so make sure to like, subscribe, and I'm going to start posting more videos from here on out. Because, honestly, I love making videos, I love showing people what I do, and it just sucks that I haven't had any projects going on until now. And too busy dealing with work and the coronavirus. So if you're out there, be safe, be protected, stay cautious, fuel up out.